One second, it is ringing. Hello. Hello, is that Chris? So this is it, the end of the line for the Audi A5. I announced the winner of the car yesterday. It's Chris from Great Yarmouth. He won the car for absolutely nothing. Like, what a prize, man, for nothing. That's all right for free, isn't it? So he's on his way down now. Uh, Case Drawn C in Great Yarmouth is where he lives, two or three hours away from where we are in Milton Keynes. So he's on his way. He said it'd be here about 12 o'clock. It's 10 to 12 now, so hopefully any time now. Uh, I'm gonna do a few shots on the car quickly before he gets here. And in this video, we're gonna meet him, meet his son as well. Do you know what, we might not even meet him, because he sort of said, Calvin, I don't know, if I want to be on camera or not so we might only meet his son I don't know but the bottom line is congratulate him hand him over his car and see what his plans are with the Audi A5 right boys welcome to Bean Car good, good to meet you yeah, both nice to meet you, <laughs> so you're Chris your dad yeah and you're Aaron yeah. son yeah yes. And uh, Chris, I called you yesterday to say, obviously, congratulations, you've won a car. Chris, what's your surname, mate? Just out of curiosity. Who is it? Uh, my name's Calvin. Oh, Bartlett. Bartlett, that was a good answer. That's the answer I wanted, mate. Christopher Bartlett, where are you from, Chris? Oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm from the car diary, isn't it? That's me, mate, Calvin's car diary, that's Dreams. the one. Dreams. Why would I be ringing you, Chris? You've won a car, Chris. You have won a car. Congratulations. You've just won the Audi A5 for completely free, mate. What was your response? Tell everyone your response to that call. How do you feel, man? You know, <laughs> I never expect to win nothing. You know, that's sort of a surprise, you know? Um, everyone uh, says this. Every single winner says this. I never win nothing. I never expect to win anything. And then, voila, you've just won. I you was were surprised. Shocked. I didn't. I thought it was one of them scam calls. To be honest with you, you literally thought it was a scam, didn't you? Yeah, so I was definitely. like, Chris, what's your surname, mate? And you was yeah. like, Who is it? Didn't understand <laughs> what was going on. And um, so, have you ever won anything before? No, nothing, nothing. And just to confirm, how much did it cost you to win this car? Nothing. Completely free, yeah. <laughs> free. So you've just won an Audi A5 for nothing. You mentioned that you've seen a few, like you've been watching my videos for a little while. You mentioned the Audi. Uh, RS7 video. Yes, that yeah. was also wrapped, wasn't it? Yeah. What's your thoughts on the wrap of this car? It's beautiful. It's um. Quite happy with it, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not too loud. It's just nice. It, it pops. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So what's the car situation between you two? So obviously you brought your son down with you today. My son hasn't got a car. Well, to be honest with you, at the minute, me and my car history is a bit like I'm the kiss of death with cars at the minute. I've had nothing but no ends of aggravation at getting cars at the moment, and the last. One I had to hand back because the gearbox went on it within the first month of having it and the DPF was playing up. Oh, really? And I've been looking for a new car for the last three or four weeks. Oh. And to be honest with you, I've been without a car, I've had to borrow vans from work to get through, to and from work, I've had to borrow these pair of my parents' cars. Bloody and, hell. Um, so you... To be honest with you, this is quite lucky because I can use this as a runaround for a little Yeah, while. yeah, and it's a nice runaround at that <laughs> yeah. as well, isn't it? So is that the plan? You're going to be using it, Aaron, yeah? Probably. So what's dad saying about that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you're obviously massive petrol heads a pair of you. You've got an old Mercedes SL300, is That's that right? It, yeah. And you, you go to car shows, you know, you're proper into the car scene, ain't you? Yeah. So for you, this is, I know it ain't a petrol car. No. A, you know, you're petrol heads, but it's a wicked car, isn't it? It's yeah. Quite, yeah. obviously quite a, what's it, we 46 there. Um, it's wicked, isn't it? You've it's won fun. a car for nothing, man. This is brilliant. So um, I think what we'll do is, if you, you ain't driven it yet, have you? No. Do you, you want to drive it? Sure. Should we get out on the road? Uh, have you sorted out your insurance? I've insured it. You've insured it? He's on it, my mum's on it, everyone's on it. Wicked. What car did you drive down in today, by the way? Volkswagen Mokka. Oh, the Volkswagen Mokka there, yeah? So that's Dad's car, yeah? Mum's. Oh, Mum's Mokka. You don't currently have a car. You've got your SL for when you need it. Yeah. Wicked. We'll jump in the car. Dad, if you want to jump in as well, it's up to you. Right. Uh, <laughs> you weren't too keen to get I on the camera. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cool. We'll do that. Throw the cameras in the window. Let's hit, hit the road, yeah? If you also want to be in for a chance of winning the car for nothing, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the purple Audi A3 next Friday live on Planet of Dreams. Enter now for free on planetofdreams.co.uk or sign up to Dreamcatcher and get 10 entries to every single competition across the website. Good luck. Sorted then, let's go mate, let's go. There's your key, sir. Yep. Sort of see out. They're a nice nice place to be, isn't they? Nice and yeah. cool these. Yeah, they're alright. You say you don't want to come, do you? Oh no, let's ask him. Are you sure you don't want to come? 
<laughs> All right, see you in a bit, yeah? <laughs> Fair play. That steering wheel's much better than that carbon fibery thing that was on. Yeah, I weren't going to get it done because it was that quite looked, a nice steering. It looked really horrible around the bottom. It right? looked horrible at the bottom, but the steer, the appearance, was the overall appearance. the same appearance. person that done that, done this? Nah, nah, nah. Control Customs do a proper job. This is a proper steering wheel, man. Mm. So, yeah, if you want a proper job, you steer That's proper Alcantara, isn't it? That is nice, yeah, it's proper. And all this, it's even how tight it is, it's neat, yeah. isn't it? To be honest with you, it don't look like an aftermarket job, do it? It looks nah, like nah. with it. It looks, yeah. So, what are you driving at the minute then? Literally, at the moment, I have no car whatsoever. Really? And what are you doing for work? Well, I'm a project coordinator for an offshore company. Oh, I'm your ultra. dad said that. I'm, so you... I'm ultra, and I've got a low back within it, which I work within. We'll go right here, yeah? So, you're busy, yeah? Yeah, we're doing all sorts of minutes, the offshore industry and. What is it, Monday to Friday? Monday to Friday, um, 8 till 5, and get the weekends off, so. How, um, how are you getting to work at the minute? Is it local time? Well, seven miles to, seven miles back. My company, well, they've let me use a van for the meanwhile. Okay. But as soon as I had some aggravation with that, I had a Mercedes CLS I bought about a month ago. Mm. And within, what, the first month of owning that car, that got recovered twice by the RAC for not having lack of drive forwards or back. Bloody and hell. obviously, it had um, that went in five times to be looked at for DPF issues, obviously gearbox issues, and yeah, that's you had a nightmare with that. And at that point, with the car, I thought, well, if this is a month in, and this is the sort of aggravation I'm getting from him, it, it ain't for me. Yeah, it ain't for so you. I've got yeah, got money back on that, and I've been looking ever since. So your dad said you went to look at a car this week. So you're well, obviously on the hunt for a car now. Yeah, yeah you're carless. Thursday, I went to look at a um, Ford Puma ST. Oh, right. two plate, nice. three months old. Okay. Been using a demonstrator up at um, near Birmingham. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got there, started looking around it. Look, noticed that the paintwork on it on one side was hazy and it weren't even glossy. Oh right. And then basically, it looks like it's been completely resprayed down one side for oh. a three-month-old car. Right. So, yeah. So you've passed on that. There's all pinholes in the paintwork. Obviously, where they've lacquered it, there's all air entrapment underneath, and it just looks like a dog on wood. Oh, so that's a shame. That. It wouldn't matter if it was like a. 10 year old car, but no. a bloody car of that age. No, three months old has done 1600 miles, you wouldn't expect that. Yeah, you want perfect, then you Especially when you're looking at spending close to 30 grand on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bloody hell. So, yeah. Oh, so you had a right result in winning this? Well, yeah, if he let me have it. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty much I think done. his that's dilemma. His dilemma, he mentions it a lot about you and your sibling about having to split the money. Well he doesn't want to give you the car then. No, I'll probably have to sue my sister through right probably because she ain't gonna um she, well, she's gonna want half, isn't she? Yeah. So is that gonna be the plan? You're gonna I might make her a trophy offer, yeah. <laughs> well, it might work out then. Yeah. Would you consider keeping this and daily driving it yourself then? For now, for the meanwhile, yeah. Even if I'm looking around for next year for something I do fancy of daily driving this, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's a perfect daily driver, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's well. You got a diesel, so you take on a run, it's gonna be economical on a long journey and it's quite quite punchy, powerful as well. Yeah. It's all O as well, which is nice, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's handy for bumper bumper traffic from where I live. Yeah, so you live Caster on Sea? Caster on Sea near Great Yarmouth, yeah. That's funny because I've We've all done holidays to Great Yarmouth. Like round here, everyone goes holidays to Great Yarmouth. Honestly, it's mad, isn't it? Yes. It's like the holiday destination of of the UK. <laughs> Everyone's into Great Great Yarmouth. I used to go to Hemsby a lot. Yeah, I mean, has got a caravan there. Oh really? Everyone seems to have a bloody caravan in Hemsby. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. I took Kai down there last summer. We stayed in a hotel down on on the beachfront. Aaron, give me one interesting fact about you. One interesting one fact, interesting fact about you. What's the, what's the story you can tell me about you? Hate time. Um, Have you had any like any accidents, any dramas, I, any mate? I know today you've won a you um, won a car. This is well, quite amazing. accidents. I've never had one single accident in all my time driving touch so wood. far. Touch wood in ten years. Well done. But I have had as an accident, but every single time it's been parked in a car park, I've been hit three times while parked, not in the vehicle. <laughs> Okay. So I'm so the most unluckiest at parking. So you, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, so that's, that's your one interesting yeah. fact about you. You you damage cars without being inside them. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> one more question. On the roads, 
what annoys you? What's your biggest bugbear on the roads? Push bikes. <laughs> oh, is it really? <laughs> 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 there you go, get a feel for the power as well. <laughs> What's your personal favourite car? Mine? Mm. Um, like a, a daily driver, not the dream car, not a bloody Ferrari Enzo or whatever. Daily driver? Yeah. What's the dream daily driver? I know you went to look at the Cougar this week. Is that the dream? I don't think that was a dream, that was just, Soup, just something good. that serves a good purpose. The dream would probably be something like a Bentley or a Maserati Ghibli or something like that. Maybe. Really? Yeah, I quite like those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something luxury, comfortable. Yeah, I'm the same. I love a big luxury car. I'm not exactly an old person. That was sort of old people's cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but still, I'm the same. I love a bit of a bit of comfort. So how's it driving? It drives well, doesn't it? Yeah, it drives nice. It's, it's, it's smooth, smooth, isn't it? Steering's well weighted. Yeah. Throttles there. It's obviously been to VRS. Will, you know what he's like. He's bloody anal. Goes over everything. It don't rattle inside. It's or nice, or yeah. He's, he's, quiet. he's tuned it as well, so he's got a bit more power out of it. Um, to be honest with you, it looks like it's been looked after for it, an 08 plate car. Well, obviously, you, you said yourself, you watched Jesse's videos. It come from Jesse Collingham. He's a friend of mine. He's looked after the car. He's daily driven it, had it a year. And it's yeah. a good base car. It like was a good base car. Even you said yourself, when, you, when they had before it was wrapped, the body works quite good on it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just a couple of scratches on the tailgate, yeah. I think, around where the number plate was. For a 14 year old car, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty tidy, isn't it? It didn't need everything we've had done, but we've had it all done and it's turned out to be really nice. We've also had the wheels done, it was already lowered. Yeah, the wheels are nice. Wheels look good, don't they? Definitely. Go right here. Gel plates from your car edge always. I like gel plates. They look good, don't they? Well, I think that's pretty much everything. Like, it's, it's a car for nothing. You know, it's the end of the chapter for the Audi A5. I have actually bought another car, which I'll, I'll tell you off camera. Yeah. Um, I won't tell everyone else online now, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, I will put links. Do you know what? I've done a website called calvinslinks.com. So just every company that I mentioned, Wheel at VRS, uh, Control Customs, Your Car Edge, everyone that I mentioned, I've put all of their links on that Calvin's Links website. So if you want links to anyone, uh, check out that website. I've also got Bing Car, the Car Buying Shop, Planet Dreams, everything's on there. Um, also, if you want to be in for a chance of winning a car, just like these guys have done, um, check out Planet Dreams. Like I say, all of the links are on calvinslinks.com, all right? So do me a favor, hit like if you like this video, hit subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.